Okay guys, here's uh, one of our educational videos, if you will. We've been getting a lot of requests, we've been getting them for a while, asking what kind of reference books and websites and things like that can you get to get some of the information that we've been passing along to you. Cherry Picker's Guide has been around for quite a while, and the nice thing about it is it's updated fairly regularly, every couple of years anyway. Um, and you can see the Duke Ellington, Ellington era we've talked about. This is the fifth edition, volume two. This is the sixth edition, volume one, which just came out recently. Covers pennies, nickels, dimes. Uh, this covers quarters, half dollars, dollars. Uh, so you have to, um, in fact, I'll zoom in here so you can see half, half dimes, silver and Morgan dollars, plus gold coins commemorative and bullion. That's volume two. And volume one is half cents to Jefferson Nichols, okay? And it also shows uh, 140 new varieties, okay, since the last publishing of this book. So it'll show you some of the uh, errors, and it'll show you some of the new varieties and things that people are finding. This is an old one. This, this was recommended to us by the old gentleman with the microscope. It's called Error Coins by a gentleman by the name of Arnold Margolis. It was printed in 2009, and from my, my understanding, it's out of print. Uh, so you have to look for this one, either in a used bookstore or Amazon, something like that. It has things like pictures and descriptions of different types of errors. Uh, you know, some pretty cool stuff in here. More so than the Cherry Picker's Guide. It talks about how the errors occurs. Um, you know, things that a lot of folks don't think are errors, for example, are in here. Um, and there are prices in here. Now, the thing you have to remember, see, here's some prices here. These were 2009 prices. It's 2016 right now. The prices have changed dramatically, okay? Some have gone way up, some have gone way down. So, this we use as a reference to try and figure out what are we looking at. You know, you've seen some of our pennies that we've put up that, have, that, have, that resemble these types of errors. Uh, we put up a video on that. Uh, another book that you see at a lot of coin shops and stores is what they call the Red Book. And this is as the official Red Book. Um, this is the large print edition because it's easier on my... <laughs> my eyes which i've talked about my eyesight ad nauseum uh but it has um you know pictures of early colonials pre-colonial post-colonial pre-colonial um you know really old like that's one of my favorite coins uh that i'll never be able to afford to get uh here's the uh, commemorative nickels um you know and it gets into quarters Silver dollars, it even talks about gold dollars, bullion coins, gold pieces, commemoratives. Um, there's your bullion, platinum bullion. Uh, significant U.S. patterns, private and territorial gold. So, you know, back in the gold rush days, basically. Um, so you've got some information there. And then, for those of you that ask, Collecting world coins. Uh, Camera Girl got me this uh, for Christmas not too long ago. Um, and uh, because I have a huge collection, uh, an inherited accumulation mostly, uh, from all my great uncles uh, that served in World War II. And as they were making the rounds over there, uh, they were picking up spare change and bringing it home. And and I've inherited a lot of it. So there's coins from in here from all over the world. Um, because of this book, I discovered that I had a, uh, a coin, which uh, uh, probably ought to show you in a video sometime. Uh, it was, it's a very small coin. It's smaller than a dime. It's, go, it's gold in color, but it's kind of dull. And it's basically a pre-Iranian revolution, so pre-1976. Riza Pahlavi, the Shah of Iran, and it's a gold-plated coin. And I believe it was dinars, if I remember right. But it's very small. 
Um, the plating is, is kind of flaking off, but you know, you wouldn't know unless you looked in the book, you know, you wouldn't, you'd think it was some, some sort of, uh, you know, like the JFKs or that, that they, that they, uh, plate here in the States just for novelty. But here's, here's some of the main things that we, that we use. Uh, obviously we've also talked about going on eBay or Amazon, uh, and looking to see what coins are out there for sale. There are other auction sites too. Um, the, the key is, as good as these books are, any of these, okay? This book comes out every year. This book, these books come out every other year, I believe. Um, if there's an error found today, it will not show up in print in this book until a year from now, okay? Possibly longer. Um, there are, as it says on the one, 140 new varieties since the last printing of this book. So what does that tell you? Okay. And it's not going to be the 1700s. It's going to be the stuff that we're all cherry picking, that we're all coin roll hunting. Um, you know, that's what you're going to be finding in there. So wanted to give you this because this is going to give you guys some idea of the places that you can look for uh, information. There's also good information from PCGS uh, on their website and, um, you know, your local coin club and of course, JB coins. Okay, guys. Um, as usual, uh, camera girl came home and saw what I had shot for you for reference on, uh, the books we use. And she said, what about the magazines, the newsletters and the websites? So here's just a sample. I mean, these are magazines, coin world you can get at the bookstore uh, you, uh, coins you can get at the bookstore, um, and they say U S coin prices, but they're, they're also somewhat dated like the other, uh, books. They, they have a publishing delay, uh, numismatic news. Uh, for example, PCGS has a new offering, uh, for the internet called the PCGS price guide, which you can go on. If you have a iPhone, the app is free, a download it from the app store. Uh, and also coinflation.com, which gives you the melt value of all the metals, uh, gold, silver, copper, platinum, and palladium, I believe. It also has a feature where you can pull up uh, silver coins, and then it will break it down into what year series of nickels, dimes, quarters, uh, Mercury's, Roosevelt's, that type of thing. And it'll tell you based on the spot price today that you put in, that, that the phone has, um, it will tell you um, what the melt value of that individual coin is. The PCS, PCGS guide will do the same. It will also then show you coins that are for sale out on the internet. Uh, so those are some great guides right there, uh, internet wise, uh, and they're, they're real time. Okay. One of the last things that I almost forgot, um, <laughs> couldn't remember it is, uh, gray sheet.com G R E Y S H E E T.com. That is the book that you see at coin shows and at coin shops, the dealers have their kind of gray pages with very small numbers in them. Um, kind of like that, you know, but, um, they are, that is pretty much the Bible for dealers, I think, because they come out weekly with updates of prices of new errors of new sales, what coins have recently sold for, um, uh, you can get, you can go online and you can access some of their information, but, um, you know, they're going to, they're set up basically to send you subscriptions and their subscriptions go, you know, 250 bucks, 500 bucks. If you want all the pamphlets and, and notifications and everything else, that's why it's a lot of times it's for dealers. It's also for serious coin collectors. So if you're going to really get hardcore into this, uh, that's probably the direction, you know, that you're going to want to go information wise, but there's so much stuff out there. There's so many of these magazines and, and, and so many of these websites popping up. 
uh, obviously YouTube, us, um, you know, uh, just lots and lots of different resources. And, you know, this is for you guys. And, um, you know, hopefully you found this, uh, this reference video to be useful. You've been asking for it, a lot of you, for a while. Uh, I crammed a lot of it in here. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. Uh, hopefully it gives you guys some sources that you didn't have before. And hopefully you continue to enjoy, uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, you know, we're growing the channel. We appreciate that. That comes from you guys. We appreciate the comments, the ideas. Uh, so till next time, JB Coins, signing off.